Greetings, unsettled souls. <coughs> Welcome to the Correct Views. Dunce Cap of the Month Awards show. Couple things real quick. First of all, the theme song is only going to be played on the first video of the five that usually go up now since we changed formats. I'm not going to go over it. You can look at old videos. Also, um, the sound quality. And don't, don't zone out. It's only a 10 minute video. I'm going to get to the news. But um, the sound quality. I understand there's some issues with being able to hear me depending on if you have a system or whatever. That's going to be fixed. There is going to be a camera ordered. This is a temporary problem. So, well, it hasn't been. It's been a problem that's gone on for years since I doltishly, stupidly broke my own camera. But it's it's going to be fixed. It's actually a very, very nice unit about to be sent. So, don't lose track of that. Uh, you'll see me fiddling with the uh, light here as we go through the show. But it's a temporary problem. That's not why you tuned in. No, no, it's not. It's because you wanted to hear the dunces, the dumdies. Well, how about this for the first one? This is quite a dumdy. This is from KRTV3. I think it might be their first time on the show. Uh, Glacier National Park is removing glaciers will be gone by 2020 signs. Now, wait a minute. Not so fast. There was certainly a lot of fanfare when they went up, wasn't there? You know, my goodness, the man's warming the planet. And they're going to they're gonna be the glaciers. And they put these stupid, ridiculous, boneheaded signs up, which you can go back and look at how long I've been saying that this is a scam. And you'll see that I've been, this isn't new. So maybe we should take them down, but we don't we, we don't really want to tell anybody that we have to take them down. What, you mean because you were wrong? Oh, you didn't want to say that you were wrong. I understand now. It's as clear as mud. Thank you so much. I figured it out myself. Let me just point to one of the ways that uh, the global warming scam works. I, th I think that this will help before we get into the story. And believe me, we're going to. People will say that California is getting hotter and hotter and hotter, and that it's hotter than it's ever been. I know, because my grandmother had a relative that was like her mom or something, and she lived in California like 110 years ago. She lived in the middle of nowhere, living off of thorns. She, she had thorns for breakfast. And you know what? It wasn't this hot. That's proof. It is. Do you know that if you look at the timeline for what California has historically been for the last 500, 600 years, longer, you know what you're going to find? that the unusual event is not the fact that California is very warm. This is why you're hitting share and hitting subscribe, which helps me a lot. It is not because California is unusually warm now. It's because the data which you will find, if you look up what I just told you to look up, the data will show you that California has been unusually cool according to the geological record. Well, that, mean, that would mean it was hotter before a man started burning coal. Yeah. Yep, that, that's exactly what that would mean. And there's other instances which we could go into, but not in a 10-minute video. This is from my Kalispell. For more than a decade... Signs of Glacier National Park warned visitors that the glaciers would be gone. Let me go ahead and highlight the video so you can see. There you go. For more, the, the, the glaciers would be gone, I'm sorry, by the year 2020. Now those signs are being changed. Oh, imagine that. They were originally added to the park to reflect climate change predictions. Predictions which were wrong by the U.S. Geological Survey. 
Wrong! So wrong they had to take the signs down. Glacier, Glacier National Park spokeswoman Gina Kurzman explained that the latest research shows a shrinking of some glaciers, but in ways much more complex than was predicted. Because of this, the park must update all signs around the park, which will state that all glaciers will be melted by 2020. And it goes on and on and on and on. And there's all kind of leftist networks that are looking to spin this in a whole myriad of ways. And I'm sure they will have and will continue to do so. But let me go ahead and give you the facts here. They were wrong. Just like El Gore was wrong. Just like just virtually everyone who's been hyping this global warming lie. L-I-E. I didn't stutter. Lie has been wrong. That's just more proof. Let me know what you guys think in the comment lines. When was the first time you knew it was a scam? Excuse me, when was the first time you noticed it? Let me know.